waking life Your profile and shadow Waste yourself to the morning alone Night is gone Long way to the Back is the short name for Beck Hansen who is an uncategorizable artist from the States. Uh, he's produced music in many different styles. In fact, that seems to be his thing, uh, versatility. Um, he is also known for his blending samples with real instruments. He plays quite a few instruments himself. He writes the songs, he sings the songs, he produces the songs, and he produces other people's work as well. He has released 14 studio albums starting in 1993 and is still active. And critics love him, and his music sells well too. Hi, my name's Dan. So this is Beck's 12th album. Uh, it's my first time listening to it. It's the first Beck album on this list, but there will be plenty more to come as we work our way through. Um, and I would confidently describe this as being mellowish folk rock with an acoustically acoustic -y feel and um, also use the... Uh, title singer songwriter possibly here so there's a reasonable amount of use of uh, acoustic guitars and pianos and uh, other kind of acoustic sounding instruments in fact uh, as well as a large number of instruments that beck himself plays on this album there are a plethora of other instrumentalists and other instruments that are being played i'm just gonna uh, name a few here instruments not people uh banjo harp organ dulcimer charango whatever that is and there is um, uh, not so much in the list, but in the listening, you can hear strings. I think they might be sample strings, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, it is very song focused. Uh, the end result has a feeling of simplicity to it, which is uh, somewhat um, um, of an illusion because when you start kind of listening and digging in, there's actually quite a lot going on in here. Um, in the in the mix, there's often quite a lot of different sounds in there, but it's structured in such a way that it doesn't feel crowded. Um, sometimes there's things that are just kind of peeping through the mix, so you can just just make them out. Um, so it's it's got some subtlety to in it to the the production here. At times, it feels quite Simon and Garfunkelish. Um, but actually the band that I was most reminded of and quite consistently through most of the album uh, was the French band Air, who are mostly known for uh, for their electronic work. Um, and it's not the sounds that remind me of Air, it's the feel to it. Uh, so there's a kind of slowness to it. Everything is maybe slightly slower than you might expect, and that gives it, kind of weight and gravitas to it. I'm not sure that this is an easy trick to pull off uh, when you're making music and for it not to just sound dull. And it doesn't sound dull. Um, I didn't really pick up on the song content. Uh, the words didn't have a, a lot of impression on me. Uh, I did listen twice, as I usually do. Uh, my first listen, it kind of blended into the background. I didn't really pay a huge amount of attention. Um, my second lesson, I did pay more attention, and I positively enjoyed it. Um, I was hearing some more of the, the subtleties of what was going on here. Um, I think that although there are words on this album, I think the album is more about the feel than the words. But I think that might it's possible that that's just what I took away from it. Um, so it's, I felt like it was a strong album. I, I, I enjoyed listening to it. It was, it was a good thing. Uh, so, as always at this point, I'm going to invite you to, you to tell me what you think of this album. So please do by leaving a comment. And that's it for me for now. I'm 